All right, guys, this week in Nurses Making the News on Thursday, something that is not really new, however, has really started coming to light here lately, especially after a Canadian nurse who gave a woman a shot for the COVID was just beat up after that woman's husband went into the facility where that nurse worked at and beat the nurse up because he did not give consent for his wife to get the COVID vaccine. Ugh, this story's been everywhere here lately. It happened just, you know, just a little bit ago in Canada, and it has really started to shed light more upon the issue at hand that nurses are assaulted at work. The New England Journal reports that 82.1% of ER nurses report that they have been physically assaulted at one point in time or another. And to be quite honest with you, I'm actually kind of surprised it's not closer to 100 because I don't think I can talk to or about any nurse that I know of that has not been hit by something at some point in time. I guess that those, that other 18% maybe hasn't been reported. Uh, uh, you know, not, not exactly sure what's going on. However, the reporting of physical assaults on nurses is actually further on the rise, even with the COVID going on. More and more nurses are getting assaulted, maybe maybe multiple nurses being assaulted at night. Not exactly sure. And of course, the COVID is not really helping things as more and more facilities are getting fuller and fuller. And who's there to get hit on? The nurses. Well, really the nursing staff. I would like to include CNAs in that as well as CNAs part of the nursing staff they're probably going to get hit also as well i know i got hit as a cna when i was what cna and it appears that there's really like no fixing this there's no fixing people assaulting nurses and one thing that i personally have always had an issue with is if a patient beats me up if i get if i just get beat up by one of my patients chances are they're still going to be treated for their illness and they're going to stay at the facility. They're just going to get a sitter and that's probably going to be it. And I'm not talking about mental health. I understand nurses in mental health are probably watching this video like, ah, you, you get assaulted once, uh, I get assaulted daily, you know, whatever it may be. I, I understand mental health nursing is, is its own little entity in this subject. However, if I get beat up by a regular med surge patient, chances are that patient is going to stay and probably get a sitter and just get treated and that's really going to be the end of it if i the nurse was to beat that patient up i would lose my license probably be arrested probably lose my house because i couldn't afford it anymore and lose all my vehicles and my family would leave me and all these other things all because i assaulted a patient however it does not work vice versa and that's not real good some people have decided to try to combat this issue a place in branson missouri has decided to issue medical staff with a panic button sort of like a life alert i guess push this old panic button of course i'm pointing to my wrist i don't really know where the panic button goes push the old panic button and hopefully someone will come and help you maybe security staff maybe other staff that's on the unit there's an alert that goes out that says hey chris is being assaulted over here somebody help this old boy out you know hopefully it works hopefully something like that works i don't really like seeing nurses get assaulted i don't like seeing co-workers get assaulted it's not something that i enjoy watching not something i enjoy seeing the aftermath of i've seen nurses get just beat up and then you know still have to finish out their shift bloodied and bruised you know, it's not something that any of us really want to do uh, however it does happen and it happens quite a bit other proposals are uh hazard pay hazard pay is a good idea however i don't really necessarily know that you can pay someone to keep on getting beat up you know of course this is an industry that you get into because you love what you do but, you know, you take one too many hits to the head, you're liable to quit. You know, I've, yeah, you don't want to keep on getting beat up day in and day out. I don't, I don't think anybody does. So I do like the, the panic button idea. I think it is a good idea. 
Hazard pay is, of course, you know, another idea that, that could help at least, you know, post-assault. The panic button is more like pre-assault, which I really like. I, personally, going out on my own right here, would like to see patients themselves held more accountable. As I said, if I assault a patient, I'm losing my job, probably losing my nursing license, and I'm going to be in some big financial trouble after that. If a patient assaults me, I, personally, would like to see something about the same happen to them. You know, I would love to see an automatic, like, arrest. Yes. You're like, Chris, that, that's a little mean. Yeah, I would like to go ahead and see an immediate arrest. Like, you go ahead and you hit them, you're out of here, bud. Our hospital's full. You're out, and you're arrested. Of course, then you're putting a lot on the nurses at the jail, but, you know, I, I don't really know how to fix it. But yeah, it happens day in and day out. Nurses and CNA and medical staff just get beat up. And I don't like seeing it. I just don't like seeing people get beat up. Especially when they're there to help you. It's just not good and unbecoming. Ugh. Anyways, if you have any thoughts on the matter, please let me know down below. If you like nurses making the news on Thursday, check out the link because I'm sure that there is one for the playlist. And don't forget to check this video. If you like this one, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like whatever's going on here on this whole channel. Gracious, there was a lot of if you want to's. Thank you so much. Hope it helps.